Hi Aria, it's Shrapsmere, and welcome back to our adventures in New World. Last episode, we got rid of the Blight at Fisher's Glory. Today we will be making our way over to Ebenscale Reach. And we are going to save a couple of those final quests for later. I want to check out a little bit of Ebenscale Reach before we hit level 60. We seem to be getting pretty damn close. We're almost level 58. Remember the first time I came to even scale reach? I got beat up pretty bad. Pretty cool area, that's for sure. So let's find... Um... I remember the, the inn being kind of off to the side. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it's down there... I know it's not at the very top. You can go pretty high up here. There is some quests for us to do. So that's good. I guess we'll start with the uh, Bartram Hopkins. Ah, I think I've spotted a fellow hunter of beasts. Have I not? The creatures here on Eben Scale are the most dangerous in all of Eternum. Find challenge if you the gal to accept it. I'm always up for a challenge. Excellent. Let's make it a competition then. Who can skin the most even scale alligators? There's a hollow in Moss Mire that teams with them. Gather their scales and I'll make you a fine new gator skin satchel. You can always use more bags lugging your loot around to turn them now. Are you up for the challenge? Alright, so yeah, let's check this out. Maybe this bag will be an upgrade. That'd be pretty cool. Here's the stash. I wonder if we need anything. I guess we'll stash some stuff here. Why not? We seem to have a decent amount of weight on us. And since we are going to be skinning, we are going to need the extra weight. Now to find out where this inn is. I don't think they would tell you to, uh, you know, run all the way up here. Like to the top. There it is, right there. I knew it was on the bottom. Alright, so let's make our way to the inn. And this will be our... Our new home for a little while. It looks like we're going to be fighting some alligators Come, today. rest your weary feet here at the Dark Knight Inn. Find no better rest in all of Eternum. And there we go. Now I've act activated this spot as our new home. The zone always had like a real uh, Vista Pandaria vibe. If I had to uh, compare it to World of Warcraft. Alright, so where do we have to go? It looks like we have to go to the border here. Of Brightwood and... Even scale reach. Let's head over there. Hope everybody's doing well today. I'm having a good morning. Okay, so this zone will probably be a little bit more chill than uh, Reek Water, which is nice, because that last zone was getting a little wild. Yeah, and the cool thing about that zone is we were able to do most of the quests. It's just the finales seem to be... A little bit too much of a challenge. So it is nice to like take a little bit of a break from that. And just beat the crap out of some mobs for a little bit. I think the corrupted here look pretty cool. Some of them are like samurais. 
It has a real, like, rainforest jungle vibe to it. Even though this area doesn't really have that. It kind of looks a little dead. All the zones are kind of hard to explain. They are all pretty damn unique. That's what I, I like about this game. Is this the alligator that we want to skin? I don't know, maybe it is. Let's see. He's a beefy boy. Gonna hit us with his tail pretty soon. Cool thing about alligators is hit him from the side. They go down pretty damn quick. So let's see if this counts. Doesn't look like it. Good thing about this quest, though, is we're going to be able to level up our skinning and, tr and tracking. Not sure if the double XP is up anymore. It's cool how they have those, though. It's still the weekend for me, so... It could um, still be up. Which would be nice. It would be nice to get this uh, our skinning up to maybe 200. That would be amazing. I don't know if we'll be able to do that, though. One thing I need to do, though, is I need to get some better gear. The thing is, I think some of these, like, quests in Reekwater, like, maybe they require more than one person. Maybe it's more like a group quest thing. Alright, so we're almost there. Slaying a lot of pigs today. This guy looks pretty cool. He's pointing at us. He's going to shoot us in the head now. <laughs> Damn it. Right before we were able to get him. We got a mage here. It's like missing all of his hits. It's pretty cool though. Whoa. Don't underestimate him. That was close, but they totally destroy us there. Oh, we gotta go a little bit further. These pigs, I tell ya. We're gonna get our skinning up a lot today if we keep getting chased down by these guys. It doesn't look like we're getting times two. It doesn't seem like it, so it might be over. Double XP event. So we have to invade the alligator habitat. Alright, here it is. It's looking kind of like a swamp over here. There he is. So we've already fought one of these guys. Gotta make sure we don't get hit with the tail. Pretty easy to fight. Kind of remind me of dragons in WoW. You kind of always want to stay at the side. You gotta watch out for the tail swipe. And uh, these guys don't breathe fire, but they do bite you. So we didn't collect uh, the scale, so I guess it's a drop. Oh, okay. One thing about alligators, they're pretty damn fast. You don't want to run in a straight line. Kind of want to do the little zigzag against those guys. Because they will catch you. They're not slow. 
He's a little baby alligator. He's a little baby. Little guy. I think these guys might be a little tougher. It's good we got our skinning up, though. Don't have to worry about leveling it anymore. Funny thing is you hear all these animals, but you can't see see any of them. I think that's kind of weird. Like you should you'd expect to see like a bunch of birds or like I don't even know what the other animals are that are making these like <laughs> sounds, but you'd expect to see those in the trees. Tail swipe. It's not good. I'm getting some fresh water. Okay, so we have a couple more of these uh, alligators to take down. Kind of like fighting the big ones more. Seems to be. A little bit easier. This guy's looks like that alligator headbutted a tree there. Ooh, two more hides to go. Pretty solid starting quest for this zone, I think. Get some easy skins. What else we got here? Hmm. Not too sure. Looks like we didn't get a skin there. Oh, there we did. A little hidden. We got a kite shield soldier armor. This should be our final one. Let me try to tail swipe us here. Oh, get that hit us with that one. And there we go. Looks like we got a little little one coming for us, so we get a little bit of revenge. Maybe uh, the quest when we turn it in, we're going to be pretty close to 58. And there we go, we're done. Now we just have to have a little chat with Bartham Hopkins. Let's, uh, I think it's worth fast traveling back. They're calling to the inn. And we'll see what he has to say. I kind of forget what the challenge was. It was just to, like, is it a race? I think he's going to give us a, another quest to fight another monster. Some more wildlife out in even scale reach. Alright, so we have to head up here. I will admit, I would not enjoy a living in this uh, town if, this, if I had a home here. Just because you have to travel up and down it. The cool thing is, though, if you get to the top, you can just jump down. So I guess that speeds things up a little bit. 
All right, so here he is. Bartam Hopkins. Impressive. As much as it pains me to say, you are a better instigator than I am. Huh. You like it? My pun game is as sharp as their teeth. As promised, here is your new bag. All right, so we got a gator a leather well, satchel. You've proven yourself adept at a type of creature you're likely familiar with. What would you say to taking on an even more thrilling challenge? What would you say about hunting tigers? Tigers on a turnip? I'm straight. The Empress brought them from the old world. But they've evolved here and became even more dangerous. We have a bounty on them. Thunder cradles where the tiger's den is. Bring me their teeth and you'll be rewarded. Any tips for hunting yeah. them? Yeah. Don't underestimate Raja and his ambush of tigers. You need to keep your mind as sharp as your blade. Don't be timid either. These beasts can smell fear a mile away. So steady your heart before you enter their lair. Alright, so it looks like we gotta go to a tiger lair. It's just over. It's pretty damn close. So I guess we'll go and check that out. And we got a new satchel, so let's check that out as well. Where is that satchel? What's this? Schematic. I just want to see, okay, where is it? Furniture. I wonder where the satchel is. Did it just go in our bag? We have the worn traveler satchel? Where's the gear? Where's the other one? Not too sure where they put it. Is it a quest item? I don't think so. I guess I could type in... There it is, apparel. Oh, wow. Much better satchel than the one we have. I guess we will uh, salvage this. And now our inventory is at 559. Oh my gosh, we've been... <laughs> in a rough spot. Good thing we did that quest. That's good. I'm happy with that. It's good getting uh, a satchel. So yeah, our inventory space is uh, pretty damn high now. We can skin for hours. All right, so let's head over here. I'm not too sure how we're going to get here. I guess we're going to have to take the road. It seems to be... A lair that is protected by some sort of mountain. And there may be only one way in. <laughs> Haven't been in this tiger lair before. Interested to see what it's like. And I think we might hit level 58 today. After we finish this quest. And then it's just two more levels. There's one of the tigers. Let's see what these guys are like. Well, they're not as annoying as dogs. I think dogs are the most annoying. The fight. Because, uh, well, for me, because they keep dodging me. They always, like, they're more pretty damn agile. You'd think tigers would be like that, too, though. Or maybe, maybe probably even more agile. And, uh,. And wolves. Okay, so we're gonna have to hit the hit the road here. They look pretty cool though. Got some territory standing. We got a territory standing in Reek Water. Standing gain station fee. I think gathering speed is always something to get good to go with, unless we're we're planning planning on uh you know making this place like a crafting station or a place where we want to hold items. Probably wouldn't have this place as a place where I would craft or hold items, so I'm most likely just going to keep on taking uh, gathering speed or stuff like that. Alright, so we've got some corrupted here. We're just going to run right by them. There seems to be a lot here. A couple farmers. Getting shot in the back. I remember when those shots used to uh, hit me for 80% of my health. Look at all of them chasing me, oh man. It'd be cool trying to fight them, but I know they would wreck me. We fight this guy though. 
laborer. The brave laborer. Okay, so we should be close to the tiger den. Yeah, we just gotta go right up here. And that should take us inside. What's this guy? Corrupted tiger. Oh man, these guys are messed up. They're like stone. Probably gonna have to buy some more food soon. Holy! That was wild. Yeah, stop doing that. Is there somebody there that I can't see? It is. This guy I can't see. Whoa! That's so cool. I don't know if that was like a bug because it's New World or if that was like just how, what that guy does. He just can go in this. That'd be cool if he can do that. I hope that's the case. Alright, so we're in Tiger territory now. And we are going to make our way inside. And let's see what's going on here. I wonder if we can climb this after. Is this a... I think there's like a way out. Tiger, tiger. Okay, so is this it? We need 10 tiger teeth. It's like I'm not the only one that's going to be hunting these tigers. I think we got like a level 60 here. I'm going to try to fight these guys with. Let's do a little spinorama. Looks like he's hunting the tigers too. He's got a flamethrower. What a legend. Wow, he's pretty quick at picking him, though. These are Thunder King tigers. So we got one tiger tooth, I think maybe two. Oh, it's in here. Some silk. Oh, let's see what's going on in here. Seems to be the tiger hangout. They're more like lions than tigers. They have manes. I guess that's why they call them the Thunder King Tiger. I wonder if there's any tigers out there that actually do have manes like lions. Getting a lot of thick hide, though. I think we got this new bag. I need seven more of these trophies. So we got some ore over here. I don't think we can mine it, though. This guy's just hanging out. Oh my god, it's Makari. This guy's a beast. Can we defeat Makari? Nice dodge there. I'm oh, kicking the crap out of this guy. I if he's gonna give us a tooth. 
Wow, we just defeated Makari. We got the tower shield. Plus, we didn't get a tooth from Makari. So we need 175 if we want to loot that vein. So we got a tiger puns. What's the difference between hiding leopard and hiding tiger? A tiger can't be spotted. What did the tiger tell her kids before dinner? Let us pray. Why was the tiger angry after the race? Because the winner was a cheetah. <laughs> Why can't you trust what a tiger says? They ain't lying. That's a good one. Can't trust what a tiger says because they ain't lying. Try to remember those. Why did the tiger lose the race? Because he wasn't a cheetah. pretty cool that they left jokes like that. It's probably one of the funniest ones I've... Well, it's the only one that's told jokes, so it has to be the funniest. I kind of enjoyed that. I wish they did more of that in this game. And just left some jokes around. Yeah, we're getting our skinning up by quite a lot. There we go, level 58, guys. Let's get our upgrades. I guess we will... Keep going into strength. Or, there we go. Oh, well. Guess we'll fight this guy. Before we uh, do that. Got a lot of XP there. I think Makari gave us a lot, right? Okay, so yeah, back to uh, getting our strength up. But now we're going to have 25% Stamina damage from melee weapons and light attacks. That's a lot of extra damage. And negative 10% decrease in weight from mind items. So that's pretty good. Alright, so we're on the hunt for three more teeth. Problem is, this guy named Fang is uh, just destroying all the tigers here. Is that an iron ore up there? Might be. What is that? Silver vein. Okay, good. We can loot that. Only at 77 with our mining. We've got a ways to go. Supposedly this guy's electrified. You can already tell we're doing more damage. It's a pretty big increase, 25% extra damage. Alright, one more tooth. And then, I don't know what we'll do after this. Maybe we'll... Got an animal eye, nice. Just need to get like. Need to find a way out of here. I kind of don't want to go the same way that I came. I, interesting to see if there's a, another way out. Yeah, we're almost at 200 tracking and skinning. And that's it. We are done. So is there any... 
probably go back this way. I think if we went this way, we wouldn't really, uh... Probably wouldn't really get anywhere. So we'll just head out. Come back from where we came. Doesn't look like we can climb out of this cave either. Which is completely fine. But it's nice that we hit level 58. Thought that was kind of cool. Got a lot of XP today. Probably be 60 pretty damn soon, actually. I think once we finish up uh, this zone or do as many quests as we can, it could be 60 just from this zone. And then I'll probably go back and we'll give that one last quest a try for one last time. See if we can defeat those. I don't even know what to call them. Those spirits. They just hit really hard. Alright, so let's get back over here. We'll make our way over to the settlement. Thing is, once we hit 60, uh, we could... You know, we, we unlock some new potions and all this new stuff. So I think that would help. But the thing is, that quest was a 60 quest as well. And there's that guy. He's not invisible anymore. Yeah, maybe that was a bug. Let's see if he goes invisible. That's really dodge that. Get rid of this corrupted tiger. Great, another tiger's coming. Help the corrupted tiger. Yeah, I think that was a bug. We can fight this guy. We could die here. Is he gonna kill us? No. These mages are wild, though. So I guess him being invisible was just a bug. That's too bad. Because he didn't use, like, any invisibility move there. I think we do get XP for every time we skin. We're getting, like, a little bit, like, 20. Doom, doom. So I think we'll go around this area here. Let's run by the laborers. I don't think we have to pull the entire group this time. Looks like we're back. Somewhat. Well, this looks like the settlement. Kind of cool. We went to that, like, gator area. It was like a swamp, and then we went to, like... Now uh, there's an area here is more like jungle. Kind of like the tiger quest a little bit more. And I thought the... Fighting that, that invisible mage was really cool. I wish they added that. I think invisibility would be great in this game. I don't know if they have it in the game. But I think invis would be... Would be an awesome... Like, uh, just ability. I think it would work well. 
All right, so we need to get up one more flight of stairs here. Looks like you really earned your stripes. <laughs> In fact, I wonder if he wrote the jokes that we found. In fact, you could say you were absolutely perfect. Ah, don't give me that look. You know how you how you love my puns. And here's your reward, Master Hunter. You've earned it. Alright, so there we go. Looks like we are done with Bartam. Get rid of this and we'll open this up, see what we get. Some boots of the assassin. A decent amount of junk there. I tip my skinny knife to you, friend. You've got serious skill with besting beasts. Perhaps someday, when this corruption business abates, we can go on an expedition together. All right, so yeah, that is the end of our uh, quest chain with Bartram Hopkins. Next episode, we will continue questing here in Even Scale Reach, and that is the end of today's episode, guys. So, as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.